This is Airfield Falls in Fort Worth, Texas. It's an oasis. I know I've said that before, but this really is an oasis. So come on, let's go capture some images. Good morning, Michael Scott, Scotty Man Photo. I'm uh, actually hiking down to Airfield Falls. Uh, it's a little conservation park uh, in Fort Worth, Texas. And I've been here before. Matter of fact, I captured one of my favorite images here. I'll, I'll post that right here. It's just one of those electric skies and uh, everything seemed to be right. The waterfall was right. And uh, maybe, uh, maybe a little luck on that one, but uh, yeah. So uh, anyway, I thought I'd come down this morning. I was hoping to capture some fall color. I don't think the skies are gonna do it this morning, but uh, there's a chance. I think it's gonna be mostly clear, but uh, anyway, uh, I think the color's kind of washed out and uh, just kind of a, it was a real quick fall this year. We haven't had uh, an abundance of rain here in Fort Worth area, so kind of a slim pickings on the fall. Well, the good news is it's a short hike, so the uh, trip down is maybe an eighth a mile, but uh, the bad news is there doesn't appear to be a lot of water flow, but I kind of suspected that. Uh, yeah, well, there might be a little bit more water flow than I thought. And it is a little cool this morning. So I don't know if I'll be capturing any fall color, but you never know. I'm here early, so I'm gonna kind of a little bit uh, till sunrise, at least uh, at least uh, 40 minutes or so. So just kind of sit around, enjoy some coffee, and uh, yeah, wait for the light. <sighs> you know, I know I'm very young looking, and I know my beard kind of hides my age, but uh, yeah, my grandchildren watch these videos. I just thought I'd just give them a little shout out this morning to. Uh, Isaiah and Emily, hey, I love you guys. Keep watching. Just trying to think about how I might compose that. There's really no color in it, you know. I mean, nothing, nothing's really spectacular. And those those lines, those pole lines, are just hideous. I have to cut those out. Just get the bridge and the reflection. I think I'm going to go with a 24 to 70 on this. Although, might need to be a little bit longer if I get back further. Let's see. Now, there's no wind. It's very calm. I like the light coming in. Really, uh, 
really makes the fall colors pop but I need to shoot a couple exposures here and bracket this so I really think I'm gonna clip the highlights of or shadows I don't know I might be able to get it but better safe than sorry yeah this way I can kind of get a better uh, better understanding of not just focus but there's really no foreground so shooting this at f8 but the composition looks okay I'm gonna my intention is to kind of crop in just a little bit but uh, we'll see well the one thing I do like about this image is the color if it if it turns out it looks looks pretty decent right here and that light was really making it pop let's see what I can do with that Lightroom you know when I take an image in post-processing I really don't try to to, to make it look wildly different than I saw it. I, my goal is to really make the image look like I saw it at the moment. Let me look around and see what else I could possibly get into. I was really looking at something like through here, but too many distractions, too many branches coming down. I, I think if it was kind of open here, some good fall color there, some green here, nice contrast, leading lines, clear subject. I think it could have been an, somewhat of an interesting image. All right, well, the fall color was better than I thought. Although not great, it was better than I thought. Better than I expected, I should say. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the, the water flow was, uh, yeah, about what I expected. Almost nothing. Uh, maybe you could say it was a little bit better than I expected, but, you know, I think if you come out with a, with a negative attitude or a defeatist attitude right off the bat, you failed already. You're not going to come away with anything that's worth looking at. So, uh, eh, you know, the best you can do is keep positive. Um, you know, do your research. Uh, I mean, the scene shouldn't totally just blow you away because you were totally unprepared. Um, you should have some idea of what you're getting into and what your uh, expectations are, realistic expectations. You're not going to capture an award winner every time you step out. In fact, you're probably not going to capture an award winner very often at all. I think I, I might have one or two images that I might think that, you know, are award winning images, but uh, certainly no more than a handful. Anyway, I guess I'll uh, enjoy this coffee and uh, probably head back. So I'm going to go ahead and call it. But uh, hey, if you like today's video, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about the video. And as always, if I don't see you down the road, maybe I'll see you on the trail.